We're live. Hello, everyone. We're just a second early, which is okay. Um, I'm just looking, I'm actually looking at some of the comments from last week. Uh, and, you know, just to see who all's there and, and stuff. So, um, <laughs> instead of splitting the screen and having me on half and having you looking at the other half to see what I'm doing, I decided to go th about this the old fashioned way. So I'm going to kind of keep that up there for now. And when we're ready to work on the card, I'm going to flip it down on, on the desktop and you'll be able to see what I'm doing a whole lot better because it gives you a pretty big screen area, which is really nice. And now I'm looking at, <laughs> I'm looking at this on Facebook and hi, Karen, Susie. Hi. Dinner was yummy. Wasn't it good, Karen? I had some later, right before I left to come home. Um, I, we did a chicken pot pie dinner at church and uh, Karen came, stopped by with a friend and they had dinner and it was a, it was a very nice night. It was very busy. And uh, I got home just a little while ago and I'm really shooting from the hip, but I think I came up with something cute and easy. And so anyway, here we are. <laughs> and I just looked, I'm just looking at this on Facebook and I'm seeing what a mess I have back there. And it's really looking cluttered, but it's not as bad as it looks um, because that's my cutting station. So my, my big, um, Stampin' Up! Cutting and Blasting Machine is over there, right over my shoulder here. And uh, my waste can, my, my waste trash bucket, and all my dyes and my, my folders and stuff are all back there. Connie, hi. Carol, hi. Good to see you guys tonight. Wasn't it a beautiful day today? Wow, unbelievable. It was a little windy. That made it a little cold, but... I was so glad for the sunshine. I just, it was really nice. This little doojiggy is right in my way. Um, and it's not really even necessary, but I'm afraid to mess with it because I'm afraid it'll mess up the whole camera situation. So, so I'm just going to let it there be being in the way. So, okay, news. Let's do some quick news and get to it. Um, uh, there's not much news coming up, is there? Um, let me see. Celebration's going to be over on the 28th of February. So if you have anything you need from that celebration catalog, grab it soon, grab it quick, or you'll lose it forever. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the big, the big news. There's going to be some online exclusives, a new, new little thing coming up. And in fact, I'm going to just give you a real quick sneak peek of one of the papers. This is a six by six pack. Um, it's called Hello Irresistible. It's beautiful paper, beautiful, gorgeous paper. Um, and it's going to be a six by six pack and it goes with a stamp set and die set, which is not available yet. So I'm not even going to show it to you yet. I'll show it to you eventually, but not yet. Um, <laughs> let's see what else is going on that's really all it's just not very much um march 2nd yes march 2nd is the first thursday in march i'll be at warnersville library 5 to 7 30 for anybody who's in the area stop by we does not cost you anything you will make at least two cards um, everybody has fun. You don't have to be a member of the Warnersville Library. I mean, I, I am a member of the Berks County Library System. And as such, I get to use any of the libraries in Berks County. So if you live in Berks County, you're pretty set, <laughs> really. You can come to Warnersville on, at 5 o'clock at night, 5 to 7. Well, the library closes at 7.30, so we kind of clean up at 7.00. Or the Robizonia Library the next Thursday, and that is from 1.30 to 3.30. So, you know, two opportunities to get together and make cards. 
I figured some people like the evenings, some people like the daytime. So whichever works for you, stop by, see me, really. And as always, I am here um, every Wednesday night, 7.30. I want to just repeat something really quick because I took notice that there were some people peeking in last week that didn't say anything. Leave me a message. If you put a comment in there and you just, just say hi or tell me where you're from or whatever, but leave me a message. And if you do that, everybody who leaves me a message tonight will go in next week's drawing. So you go in a drawing. I put your name in this little bucket and whoever's name I pull wins one of the cards that I make tonight. So if you leave me a comment tonight or any time during the week before next week's live, which I believe next week's, that's one of the announcements. Next week's live is going to be, it's Ash Wednesday. So I have to, I, I have to, I won't be live on Wednesday. I will be live Tuesday. I will do it live Tuesday night instead of Wednesday. If you miss it Tuesday night, it will be recorded. It will be on YouTube and it will be on Facebook and you can see it there. It will be on my Facebook page, Nettie P. Stamping. Anyway, so if you watch, if you comment anytime between tonight and next Tuesday, next Tuesday, I will have a bucket like this. I'll have all the names in of everybody who commented. I will pull a name like I just did in Carol. One, Carol, you're getting tonight's card. So whoever comments, and wins the card. I will stick it in the mail. Well, Carol, I will be seeing sometime soon because I think uh, I'll have some goodies for you probably in the next few days. So um, I'll be seeing Carol and I'll get it to her there. So don't forget to comment. I think that's all I have to say. Chitter chatter wise, um, I'm going to just quick show you what I'm going to do tonight before actually I'm going to turn the camera down because you're going to want to see this pretty good. And the best way to see this is on this camera. So here we go. Down, down, down. There we are. Look at that. Good shot, huh? Okay. So this paper, this is called Rain or Shine. Now, my idea was, I know there's a lot of people that kind of pull in, get pulled into stamping and stamping up who were or are scrapbookers. So you don't have a lot of the stamp pads. You don't have a lot of the markers and the dies and all that kind of stuff that you need to make cards. Um, but you do have some scrapbook paper. And this is 12 by 12 paper. This is called Desire Series Paper. This is a pack. And I just think it's really adorable. And I want to show you how to make a card if you just have the designer series paper and minimal supplies. And that's what we're going to do tonight. I'm going to make three cards with this pack of paper. And the only stamping I'm doing is the greetings. Everything else is just going to be cut paper and designer series paper. And we're going to do a couple of cute fun folds. And so I think you're going to like this. And if you are watching right now, which there's a bunch of you watching, if you have friends that are maybe into crafting, but not card making, share this, share this with them. Just go down to the bottom of your screen and click share and put their name in there because they might be interested in watching this because it's, it's going to get a little bit away from all of the stamping that you do and it'll show them ways to use their scrapbook paper other than just for scrapbooking because I would think you eventually would run out of room in a scrapbook. I don't know. I'm not a scrapbooker, so I can't, I don't know for sure, but you know, I really do think that, that um, this will be a good thing for those people. So, okay, here's the paper. Isn't it cute? that's in the back. I think that's a really pretty print. I love the critters and we're going to use those. And that's on the back. And it's pink and I love pink. So this is actually 
Flirty Flamingo, which is a color we don't see that often lately. Um, but we're going to use it tonight. Flirty Flamingo. This is Mango Melody. We're going to use that too. Okay, and then this Raindrops. Raindrops, and look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's the Flirty Flamingo and Mango Melody. And this is Balmy Blue, and we're going to be using that too. Here's another little with the critters and the, and the raindrops and the rain and stuff. And some more raindrops, which this is kind of a weird paper. It's, I think it's really cool, though. It's got the raindrops are like a shiny print. And so it moves. I, I, I just think it's really cool. And it looks cloudy and everything all at the same time. So that's pretty cool paper. And that's what it looks like on the back. And then just some umbrellas and bats on the back. I'm reusing this too. So I just had to show you this because this is very pretty paper. Um, it would be great for scrapbooking, but you know, it would be really nice for cards as I'm going to show you. So here we go. My first card uses this paper because this is my favorite. I do like this paper. Pull this over here. Now, I have to warn you. I told you I was at the, um, the yeah, where was I? <laughs> we were at the pot pie dinner tonight. Um, I was helping to serve and to, to get bread out to people and welcome people and that kind of thing. And it was just a really, really busy night. We were there all weekend working on pot pie. So it, it's been a busy couple of days. And I hadn't had a whole lot of stamping time. And I, I, when I saw Karen, I said, I don't know what I'm doing tonight. Uh, this is going to be a big shoot from the hip kind of thing. So that's what we're doing. We're shooting from the hip. I did do a little bit of prep work but not a whole lot. So here we go. I took this paper. What I did here, oh, that's the other one. Okay. What I did here is I cut balmy blue, my typical card base. Um, it's half a, half a sheet of cardstock, and that is folded in a quarter. Okay. I have a piece of white four by five and a quarter. I cut a piece of that designer paper that I just showed you, I cut it four inches wide. And thank you, Karen. I cut it four inches wide, and I'm not sure exactly. I want it to go, um, I want to get those clouds, but I want to get the daisies, and I want to get a little bit of the hills. So shooting from the hip, I want it to just about cover this white piece. To get the clouds, I'm going to have to go to okay so what i'm going to do is i mark it here and mark it here and it would help if i had laid on the pencil and i'm sorry if my head's no it's not in the way okay okay and i'm cutting this i want this to be five and a quarter so i'm just just cut one of those marks that i just made Oh, this the last day or two, I have cut more pieces of paper that I didn't want to cut because I used the cutter instead of the scorer. Oh, it makes me so mad when I do that. Okay, so this is the piece I want to use, this piece right here. But look at this nice piece I have left for another card. And this I'm going to use for a cloud. I'll show you that in a second. So I'm finished with that. I can move that to the side. And I'm going to take that piece and I'm going to, I'm going to just glue it right onto my white piece because I don't really even need that white sticking out anywhere. For that matter, I could glue it right to that. Yeah, I don't even need it to be glued to the white piece. I'm going to glue it right to my cardstock. 
my blue, balmy blue cardstock. Oh, in fact, that's why I have that white here is for clouds, not for that. Okay, so that's getting glued onto that. Now I have a punch here that is clouds. And I'm gonna I'm trying this. This is an experiment. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but Cutting that cloud out of that. Yeah, that works. My, I had that, my plan B was to cut it out, of, to punch the cloud out of white and then put balmy blue. Oh, to kind of shade it with the balmy blue. I think when I put this up on dimensionals, I think it's actually going to be kind of cute. It's going to make it, yeah, I like it. Okay, so there's that. Now, the next thing I did I don't need that either. Here's that. Uh, I fussy cut out of this page right here. Okay, that page. I fussy cut these critters. I cut a turtle. I cut a bunny. I cut another bunny. I cut a fox. So I just started randomly kind of cutting these out saying, okay, I'm going to use them for something. And so for this one, I've decided I'm going to use the turtle. And then I noticed in our catalog, they actually used a piece of the other side of this paper. So this piece, I just cut this cloud out of. I'm going to use the back side of that, just a, a, a piece. So I just cut a piece out here to kind of put under the turtle so that he doesn't get lost in there. And actually, it doesn't need to be the whole length. It's just going to be a piece. So let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to cut that down. To about here and then he's going to be standing kind of looks like he's standing on that hill but he's also standing on a fence okay so i'm going to glue this piece down but i'm going to put him one dimensionals Now this this set this is a suite this this paper comes from a suite the suite is um it's called rain or shine appropriately it has a stamp set and it has a, it has dies the stamp set um has rainy days are better with you as a sentiment and oh happy day and then the stamp the dies just cut all these critters that I'm using now and they have a fence and, and different things like that. But I just wanted to show you that you can do this stuff. You don't have a lot of money to invest. You can still do a lot of projects with very little. And this is one of them. This is just the pack of paper, <laughs> you know, out of the whole suite. The only thing I'm using is the paper. Oh, I'm lied. I lied. I lied. The other thing that I'm using, and I love this. This is one of my favorite things in the whole catalog. These are loose daisy embellishments. <laughs> Where do you see these things? I love these things. I think they're so cool. They are, you know, like all of Stampin' Up's embellishments that are diamonds and, and sequins and things. Well, these are just 
kind of plastic. Daisies. There's yellow, there's white, and they have little flowers on them and everything. I think they're really cute. And they are so, they go with, with the, I mean, they just look cute. They look cute with any set, anywhere, anytime. So I am going to be using them. I'm going to put my, my uh, greeting on first. And, well, I don't have a stamp set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, uh, I had something sitting here that I was going to use. And now I can't, I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The birthday. Birthday one. Um, and I didn't feel bad using this stamp set because I felt like everybody has a birthday stamp set. So, oh, <laughs> I just thought of an avalanche. Sorry, guys. That was really stupid of me. I had things piled up where I shouldn't have. Okay. I'm using the best day stamp set. It just has a lot of happy birthday greetings. Um, it says, wishing you all the wishes. And I like that one. And I'm going to use that one. So, like I said, I fussy cut the turtle. Anybody who doesn't know what I mean when I say I fussy cut, I just took the turtle and that paper that I showed you that I had. And I just trimmed a little bit away from, just leave a little bit of a white border around and trim it. The best way to trim it when you're trimming it is to move the turtle, not your scissors. I did not have this block prepared. There. So what I want to do here, I am going to just take a piece of white I take a piece that's a little bit bigger than my sentiment and uh, because a lot of this cord is balmy blue, that's what I'm going to use a little klutzy today I'm going to cut it out up at the top here because I'm going to trim down, trim this down pretty much. Okay, I trimmed it down to there, and now I am just, let's see, I'm going to put this here. And actually, I'm going to flag it on this side. There. Looks just like it was meant to be there, right? And that is the part that, like I said, I was going to 
um, shade this a little bit. And I'm going to, I'm going to shade it. I'm going to get those daisies off of there. And get my balmy blue. And I'm just kind of shading it around the edges a little bit just so it's not such stark white. And then I'm going to use dimensionals for that too. Ah. <sighs> So what did you guys all do today in that beautiful, beautiful weather? Did you get outside? It was definitely a day that warranted getting outside, wasn't it? Okay, now I just put three dots of glue because um, these these really cool daisies here are not adhesive. They aren't. They need glue, so you have to put some kind of glue down to hold them. <clears throat> and now, other than that, I'm putting them on just like I would embellishments, just a couple, you know, here and there. I'm gonna leave them out because I know I'm gonna use them again. So that's wishing wishing you all the wishes. And on the inside, I'm just going to stamp happy birthday. And because I like to just, you know, kind of jazz things up a little bit, I'm using these little curly cues too. So there's my card. I'm getting into balmy blue. And there we go. That's pretty suitable for a kid or an adult. I think it could be used for anybody. And I also always like to put some designer series paper. So I'm going to cut this piece down. I'm using this whole entire piece <laughs> where I cut the cloud out. <clears throat> I just put a little bit of glue on this and stick it here. Now this one was just a basic card. I started with this one because I wanted you to just see how you can make such a really cute card by just using designer series paper. And if you have a stamp that says something about happy birthday or whatever occasion you need, you don't need to have a lot if you're just starting out. Now, I can guarantee that you're going to get addicted and you are going to start getting more. <laughs> Am I right or wrong, Susie? <laughs> oh, you made it along with me. Great, Connie. Yes, that's exactly what I did. I got the DSP. I did not get the stamp set and dies. I got the designer series paper. I got the daisies. That's it. That's all I got. But I, I really, because I like the paper. So now you have that. And we're the whole thing that I'm doing today is all that paper. So there's the first one. Okay. And that one was not hard, right? 
Now this one is one that I did the templates. I told you I do templates sometimes. This is a card. Okay, so it's a it's a <clears throat> pocket card. You put your greeting on here. You pull it out, and it says more. And it's just a really cute way to use designer paper. And so for that one, I'm using Flirty Flamingo. I fussy cut this fox with the umbrella. And I'm using the raindrop paper with this jazzy stuff on the other side because you are going to see both sides of this paper. So I'm starting out. Let me grab my cutter here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm starting out with designer series paper. Now, the raindrops are falling this way, so I want the front to be here. This is going to be 10 and a quarter by 4, so I'm going to cut the whole piece by 4 inches. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take this piece and cut it at the 10 and a quarter, but... I don't want it to come. Now I know I have to think about how this is going to work. I don't know if I can make this work right. I don't think I can. Darn it. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Of course I can. Okay, so I want a ten and a quarter. So I'm going to cut it off ten and a quarter at ten and a quarter. Then I'm going to get rid of the cutter because the next part is scoring and I don't want to cut it. Um, okay, score it at five and a quarter and nine and a quarter. That's nine and a quarter. Five and a quarter. I hope I'm doing this right. Yes, okay. See, then you fold it in half. And then you bring this flap down, which now I'm exposing the underside here and here, but I have the raindrops here. And I really do think that's cute. I'm going to burnish this really good because I want it to stay down pretty good. Okay, and I still need just a thin piece, about a quarter of an inch. And actually, I'm taking it off the bottom. I'm going to take a quarter inch piece off the bottom of what's left. And I'm going to... Make 
okay you could use this side or you could use this side whichever side you want that's going to hold the flap down i think i'm going to use that side i kind of like that and fold it so that it holds it because you want it to hold it down go on to the other side and take this Yes, yes, Susie, you are addicted. <laughs> I think I told you that. I think I told you that about, oh, let's see, a month into it. I said, uh-oh, you're an addict. <laughs> Connie got the daisy embellishments too. Great line, minds think alike, see? <laughs> so this is a little odd because we're not gluing the, the sides together because we don't need to. And if you glue the sides together, you're just going to make a mess and it's going to just have glue gushing out all over the place. And there's just no reason for it. <laughs> so, so I'm not doing it. I'm not, not gluing, doing the sides. So you take your cardstock now, you cut this four and a quarter. by five and a half. And then you're going to glue this onto this. I keep picking up. I have a bottle of glue here that is not opened and I keep picking it up. Well, it's not open. So, I mean, it still has the, the, the cellophane on it, so if I try to use it, it won't work. But the colors are just so pretty. They're so, the, the, the contrast, I just think that's really pretty. And then if you, you know, it's going to, you're also going to um, take, the, take a piece of this. Okay, we have a couple more pieces to go yet. Our card in the inside we are going to cut this is up to you how you want to do this now you can do it you want two pieces that are going to contrast three and five eighths by four and seven eighths is the first piece and i'm going to cut that three and five eighths right here by four and seven eighths, which is almost five, right? That's your background. That's the piece that's going to go in here. Now, the next piece that you're going to put on there is the piece that you're going to stamp your greeting on. So if you want to use a light color here, that's a good thing. Um, if you want to use white, you can. If you want to, let's see, I'm trying to decide myself, honestly, what color I want to do this because I'm afraid that white's going to be too stark. And so I'm kind of actually thinking I'm going to use this raindrop stuff at the top and, and have it go inside. So this piece is just going to be... <clears throat> three and a half by four and three quarters. So four and three quarters. Let me see. Yeah, just gonna I want this up and down. I'm thinking here. <laughs> Sorry. Here's my four and three quarters. And here's my three and a half. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. So this is going to get glued right on there. Okay. 
This raindrop paper is tricky because it's, I, I can't, you keep wanting to put it upside down. You know, like that the raindrops are falling up instead of falling down. I got that crooked, so thank goodness for Tombow glue, liquid glue. I can pull it off and fix it. Okay, it's fixed. Now, um, again, I want to put the beginning of my greeting up here that you can see. So I'm going to use, again, I'm going to use this um, birthday stuff. I'm going to uh, I, I'm going to use the same things that I used the last time. I'm going to put happy birthday here at the top. And I'm going to do it in Mango Melody or Flirty Flamingo. I don't know which. I think I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo. If I can find it here. There it is. We just want to make sure we get it straight. Okay, and then you open the card and it says, wishing you all the wishes. And you have plenty of room then to write a greeting one you know or to write your note whatever you want to there and if you don't like that if that isn't enough room for you you have the back um but the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to cut a piece of flirty flamingo and we're just going to cut it a perfect size to go on here and honestly, what I think I want to do with this is if I can find, without too much trouble, if I can find my <clears throat> oh, they're in here, stitched shapes. Okay, no, it wasn't stitch shapes that I wanted, but I'm going to use them anyway. And I'm just going to cut a circle. Now I'm going to use a smaller, I was going to use that bigger circle, but I'm going to use the smaller circle. So let me grab my little embossing machine here. Here we go. <clears throat> and honestly, 
the top part here where it says happy birthday. So when I stamp that, I got a little thing there. I don't like that. That irritates me. So I'm going to make a little flag for that too, I think. Maybe in that same paper, but on the back. Yes, where the mango melody is. So all I'm going to do, and this is just showing you how you cover up your goofs. Because <laughs> we all goof from time to time. So I'm going to take my... Happy birthday stamp. I'm going to stamp, since I'm using Mango Melody here, I'm going to use the balmy blue. That's better. You probably can't even see what I'm talking about, but it annoys me something fierce. I don't know if you can see that right there, how I got that on there. So I'm just going to make this into a banner. So Karen, you said you went to see 80 for Brady, who asked me how I liked it. And you never told me how well you liked it. You didn't look like you were very impressed. So what did you think? You don't like it? Or do you not want to talk about it online? Okay, I'm going this straight down. I don't want to put this on dimensionals because I I just don't. I <laughs> Um, because the card, this card here is already up outside the card. So I just thought it would look cute like this. And then this guy's going to go on here and he is going to get glued on, but then I'm going to use dimensionals for that. So I glued him onto this, and you just kind of have to wing it with where it's going to go exactly. You enjoyed it, but not over the top. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like the best movie I've ever seen. I've seen better, but I, it, I thought it was cute. It, um, Yeah, I liked it. It had some cute little digs. <laughs> in it here and there so that was cute there okay number two down of our i can't say no stamping but no stamp sets or dies there we go that's the second one and wishing you all the wishes so this one's a kind of a rainy day card but it's cute, right? Okay, one more. And this one is, oh, you know what? No, wait, I forgot. Even though it's raining, I still want my little daisies. Last catalog, it was the butterflies. I had to have butterflies on everything. This catalog I have to have daisies on everything. <laughs> Which butterflies are still out there. I'm still working on them. Okay, so there's that one. Now, the third card for tonight. This one is very jazzy. <laughs> And I'm trying to get the card stock and everything over here, and it's not cooperating. Use this and that. And this guy. I 
Okay. He's such a happy looking little critter, don't you think? I, I like him. <laughs> I really like him. Okay. Now, I'm using a fun fold for this one. And I'm going to tell you right now that the way this fun fold is meant to be, I'm going to show you, in fact, this is how it's meant to be. It's meant to have a belly band. And then it opens up like this. Now, I have told you before, I do not like belly bands. So I'm going to use the fun fold. I'm going to use the focal point. I'm sticking the focal point here so that it just lays down on top of here. And as long as that's burnished real good, I don't think you need the belly band. I think it'll be fun without it. So that's what I'm doing. This is my card base. It is 11 by five and a half. Then we're going to score it one and a quarter. Get rid of that cutting blade. I told you I cut things I didn't want to cut today a couple times. Okay, one and a quarter and three and three eighths. Wow, my scoring blade's not working so good either. Sheesh. Let me see that. Okay, one and a quarter and three and three eighths. One, two, three eighths. So that bring it in pretty good. And then flip it around on this side and do the same thing. One and a quarter. Three and three eighths. One, two, three. Okay. Then we're going to need. A whole bunch of strips of this. First, it's going to be one inch. Want two of these, one inch by five and a quarter. I wanted three quarters. Again, we need two of these, one and three quarters. By five and a quarter. So if you happen to be making them along with me, what you have so far is your five... 11 by five and a half, squared at one and, one and a quarter and three and three eighths on each end. Then you have cut two pieces, one by five and a quarter, and two pieces, one and three quarters by five and a quarter. Now you're gonna fold these in, fold in the wide, the wide part. And burnish it real good. And then fold this piece back like so. <clears throat> and again, burnish it really good. You're going to have a piece in the middle that's four by five and a quarter. You're going to glue these down. The bigger pieces go under here. The smaller pieces go here on the top.
the only thing you want to watch for when you're doing this is that you line up your top and bottom on all four pieces and then it'll look like a straight line so i think i explained to you all before that when i get these fun folds I make a template. That's what I'm doing here, what I'm looking at here. This is my template. I just get any old scrap paper that I happen to have around and write all my measurements on it. The measurements for my designer paper, and I marked that that was designer paper, and my measurements here and here. So everything's marked. And then this piece here is my belly band and my any shape. But like I said, we're not going to use the belly band. But that's what I was looking at there. <clears throat> I find that to be very helpful. And I have a file box with all of them. <coughs> Excuse me. In it. And Jackie at Clump, Clump and Stampers <coughs> is one who gave me that idea. And she also gives me a lot of these fun fold ideas. I shouldn't say she gives them to me. I get them from her. Um, she gives them to everybody. And I just happen to watch them. And then I pass them along to you. And I will do things to make them my own. I use her fun fold ideas. I make the templates. And then when I have certain paper, like today, I knew I wanted to use this paper. I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with it. And I thought, oh, yeah, that will be really cute. So now what I want to do is <clears throat> I... I think that this one is going to have to go on white because this is, and I may put, I yeah, I'm going to cut this square, but I'm going to shade it with some uh, balmy blue again using the blender pen, the blender brush that I showed you. Um, I'm going to make it, let's see, two and a half square, I think. Looks about like it would work. Was I whistling? <laughs> Sometimes I do. Yes. Was I just whistling? <laughs> yeah, that two and a half square should work out. Okay. I think. Because I'd like to put that on there too. Maybe I'm going to go three inches. Look just a little piece here. Oh, this is going to be four by three quarters of an inch just for my bottom of my inside. I'll get to that. Okay, so I have this. And I have balmy blue. And I have the blender brush. Make a little blue, balmy blue on there and just kind of fuzz it around a little bit. Happy 
happy whistler who enjoys his therapy. Yes, card therapy. Hey, I think that guy's cute little guy here hanging in the puddle. <laughs> and then I fussy cut the flowers. I have the same paper that I fussy cut the little guy, the real little bunny. And I am gluing this rather than putting it on dimensionals because I do want it to stay down. down a little bit and of course we're going to put some daisies here one two three four five we have five daisies this time <laughs> My blue hardly shows up at all once I put him down. I do have a take your pick tool. I should be using it. What's the matter, Joey? I hear Joey over here crying for something. I know he wants it's past his bone time. Eight o'clock is bone time. Okay, now <laughs> this is going to be the tricky part because I really don't want to do the belly band. I'm going to have to figure out a way to stick that down. I've seen people use things like um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, what's the word I'm thinking? Uh, Velcro. I'm actually going to use dimensionals here. This could be a bad idea. I don't know. I'm going to find out. See, it's staying. It is. Okay. It's fine. Just like that. Oops, I lost one of my daisies. Glue wasn't dried and I was playing with it. I do know better than that, but there he is. Um, he's going to say happy birthday also. And then on the inside, he's going to say it's the best day because it's your birthday. And I think that I'm going to make his um, happy birthday flag is going to be over on this side. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Right. Okay, 
hope it's up like that. Carol, you're going to have to pick a card or you're going to have to let me pick one. You tell me what you want me to do. This is card number one. With the turtle. Card number two with the fox, the pocket card. Card number three with the bunny. The fun fold. So you pick any one that you want. If you don't want to pick one, you want me to pick one, I'll pick one. Up to you. That's it for tonight. Three cards. Easy cards. Really, these were pretty easy. And all with mostly paper. Oh, I forgot to put a happy birthday on this guy. Um, <clears throat> so let me do that real quick. One or three. Okay. Yes, you could use that as an Easter card with the bunny. But I like that you're able to make the cards by without without getting a stamp set, but just. Just using the paper because the designer series paper is so cute, so fabulous that you don't need. the whole stamp set and I, I should not say that because I'm supposed to be selling this stuff but hey I know like I said there's some people that just don't want to invest that kind of money into it that you would have to, to get all the stamps and dies and all that stuff and this is just something you can do without without all that stuff I don't know if I even want to put this happy birthday thing on here. I think it looks better without it. But there we go. I'm not going to put the happy birthday on that. I like it the way it is. And like Connie said, you could use it as an Easter card too. So, well, thanks for joining me, guys. Don't forget to share this with your friends if you have people that are crafty that maybe don't want to make cards and maybe just talk them into it um hopefully i will see you next week same time no tuesday tuesday don't forget tuesday i'm gonna forget so don't you forget tuesday night instead of wednesday next week live carol i will save one of these for you it'll be a surprise um and i'll call you because your stuff, like I said, should be coming in um, soon. So, that's it. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks, Susie. You're welcome for the inspiration. Thanks, guys. See you next week.